With a population of approximately 8 million, the huge cosmopolitan city of New York is a melting pot of immigrant communities. Sometimes this diversity results in clashes between cultures. Other times, positive outcomes result from the merging of backgrounds and traditions. Artists in particular often use their cultural differences to learn from each other. One such artist, Ming Lang Lu, has taken his skills to Harlem to enable others to learn about and understand Chinese art. Born in Shanghai, Ming has studied Chinese art for the majority of his life. At a very young age, he learned about calligraphy and painting from his father and has continued to paint through the more difficult times in his life. Ming moved to the US in 1990 and today lives in New York, where he continues to create beautiful landscapes, flowers, animals, and even the symbol of the United States, the eagle. When I first came to America, my only skills were art. I didn't have other skills. I used my art to make a living. When he first arrived in the US, Ming set up his easel and drew and painted portraits of tourists in order to survive. But even for professional artists, drawing on the street is not the easiest way to make a living. So Ming eventually stopped painting on the street and began to work for the New York Chinese Cultural Center. Through them, he brought his skills to Harlem and the children of Public School 36. What's it is? This is so cool, right? Okay. Side is brock. I changed the color. What color this? Yellow. Okay. I just put the, you see this? Put the E. As we all know, a lot of artists are not employed being artists. So I'm hoping that what we do is to provide them this opportunity to really practice um, in the field that they've been trained for. Okay, this time I take it this way. Little circle one. Yeah, you very good job. Good. Teaching at the public school, though, is more yes. than just an opportunity for Ming. Yes. The program benefits the children okay. as well. Head teacher Cynthia Mullen Simons says the program is important to her year four pupils. You cannot teach solely by the book, paper, and pencil. They have to become involved. We need our students to hear firsthand people from various cultures talk about their ethnicity. Too much water. I assure you this. Not too much water, you see. Don't from time to time, Ming stops to help each yes. child get his or her painting just right. The kids view Ming as their teacher from China, but Ming sees beyond ethnicity. He just sees pupils who want to learn how to paint a tiger. Chinese children, American children, Hispanic children, and black children, they're all the same, no difference. Even though New York is already established as a diverse international city, programs like the Chinese Cultural Center still make a considerable difference. When we bring these programs in, the kids get to see real people from another culture and to relate to them on many different levels. What we don't want to, to do to our students is to make them ignorant to others and what others can bring. Our students need to understand that we're all human beings, that we all have different backgrounds, different experiences, and that's what makes it so interesting. These days, in addition to being an artist, Ming is also serving as a kind of cultural ambassador for his country. In the long run, Ming's art may open the door to a whole different world for these children. I feel like I'm doing very important work and it makes me really happy to teach calligraphy and painting to the children. I'm introducing them to a wider world of Chinese culture, giving them a greater understanding of Chinese people in the world and broadening their horizons. Ming is not only good in his role as a teacher, he is also excellent in his role of cultural ambassador. In Harlem, this Chinese artist has found a job that makes more than just a living. It makes a difference.